Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 26. Judge me, O Lord, for I've walked in my integrity. I've trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before my eyes. I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons. Neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Here's one of the most powerful principles I believe taught in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Uh, the people we allow to influence will definitely determine the direction of our Christian life. It's just impossible for it not to. And here, uh, David saying, I'm going to allow, number one, the Lord to influence the direction, not people. And so often we can allow uh, friends or circumstances, uh, even relatives, uh, they'll say, oh, you're getting a little fanatical or uh, that church is demanding too much. Let me say this, it's not the church, it's what the Word of God says that matters. And if the Word of God tells us we need to do something, we need to do it. If it says don't do it, we need to not do it. It's that simple. The Word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It's going to lead us in the right direction to make the right choices. Now, Satan's very good at getting us to believe it's leading us in the wrong direction, that God's holding out on us, that God's keeping us from doing something. That couldn't be further from the truth. And I love what David said. He said, I'm not going to sit with... Uh, vain persons or dissemblers, people that uh, say, yeah, I know what the Bible says, but I know what the Bible uh, teaches, but uh, you don't need to be hanging around old goats like that. They're definitely going to butt everything and lead you in the wrong direction. You know, that's probably one of the toughest decisions as a Christian is where do we draw the line? Where do we say, this is a person I can spend some time with, this is a person I may need to step back from for a little while until they get their direction right. And if they don't, you may need to step back from them and just let them see that you're headed a different direction. Somebody said to D.L. Moody, he said, well, I'm a, a afraid to live the Christian life because if I do, I'll lose all my friends. And D.L. Moody said to the young man, he said, you start living for your, your Christian life. If they're really your friends, they'll still be your friends. Uh, but if you're walking with the Lord, they'll lose you. And Christian, that's exactly what David was saying here. He said, I love the Lord Jesus so much above everything else that I'm willing to not walk with bad influences in my life. And boy, that just... The epitome of Christianity today is we want to serve God, but we want to have our old friends, but we want to continue in our old ways, but we want to do this or that. There is nothing like living a sacrificial, dedicated, honest Christian life because the rewards are just incredible, not only in this world, but the Bible says in the world to come. It says, for thy loving kindness is before my eyes. We need to keep our eyes on the principles of the Bible. An artist years ago, one of the most famous artists in France, and a friend stopped by and said, why do you have those gems on your easel? He said, because working in the color pigment, often my eyes can play tricks on me. But when I look at the pure colors from the emerald, the topaz, the ruby, he said, I know what color looks like. And let me say this, if your friends draw you away from the things of God, the church of God, the community of God, your eyes are going to get blurred by the pigments of this world. We need to make sure that we're focused on his loving kindness, because as we do that, it's going to focus our life on the true colors that are going to help us to live the truth of the word of God the way we ought to. I just love the, the book of Psalms and he David over and over again just praises God for keeping him on the right path and helping him to make the right decisions. Boy, that's what we want to do. We want to finish well. And when we stand before the Lord, we want to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. 
God bless you and have a wonderful day.